Alright, so welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. So in today's video, we will be discussing a crucial factor in any pre-meds pathway to med school and that is research. It's said that over 90% of all applying pre-meds have experienced some type of research during their undergraduate years, be it scientific or clinical experience. Therefore, I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step process that will almost surely give you a spot in one of the labs located at your school or close to your personal interests. And keep in mind that I myself followed these steps when I was looking for a research lab to take a position with. Okay, so the process is divided into four main steps. Let's start out with the first, and that is looking up and finding out your personal scientific preferences, or in other words, the subjects that interest you. This is very important because you will be spending hours and hours in a lab and I don't think you would want to be closely examining and studying something that doesn't interest you. Therefore, work hard to determine the fields that you are willing to expand on scientifically and research wise. Moving on to step two, after you've completed the research process, you now have to access your school's website or lab website, which includes all of the professors at your university or near you who are currently conducting any type of research. The research areas might be related to pathology, biostatistics, um, chemical processes, disease prevention, and many other interesting fields. So after looking through all of the various specialties, you should now filter out around 15 to 25 different labs that you are interested in working with. So these two pictures are taken from my university's website. The first one is the main page on our biology student website and it's divided into all the different specialties as you can see here for example bacteria pathogenesis and then all of the related professors who are conducting research in this field so when i click on this specific professor's name for example um in this picture i chose professor Iswara, um it takes you to his personalized page where it shows you his contact everything involved in his contact information, his education, his mailing address, and his lab website, which shows you all the research conducted, the publishings, the papers, and the lab members. So that's important to keep in mind. So step three, the, the third step involves listing all of the emails and contacts that you are going to be communicating with in order to try and gain a position with in their labs. I don't know, create an Excel sheet, jot down their names, just make sure to have a list of who you will send an email to and what their area of research involves. Step four, last but not least, you should now send out the emails to the listed faculty or research mentors. And your email should have a certain template. That's a very, very important factor. And it should include a brief description of who you are, your interests and accomplishments, why you're interested in research, what you plan to do, example, further studies or graduate school, and maybe include a very short description of what caught your attention or interest within that specific lab that you're sending the email to. So for example, if a professor was conducting research involving certain antibiotic substances located within sponges in the Antarctic, then include that portion of the interest in your email and always be enthusiastic with your tone. And don't feel depressed or blocked out if you don't get any replies back because you will for sure not get replies back from the professors or just plainly get rejected from certain labs. I myself recently sent over 32 plus emails and got around 20 rejections due to the coronavirus and limited student precautionary measures in each lab. And I only got around two to three positive replies that I'm still waiting on for confirmation. And moreover, expect this cycle to be even harder than last year's and previous years due to, the, due to the presence of the coronavirus between us all and of the social distancing measures that are being placed in schools, especially in labs where hands-on practical skills are the basis of the class. Um, so before I end this video, if anyone wants a copy of the, of the email template that I specifically used when sending out emails to professors, then feel free to email me at hamansoor at usf.edu and this email will also be available in the video description below. Um, take care, stay safe, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week or in two weeks. Thank you.